Now we have two books here. <laughs> Supposed to be forbidden for laughing. Yeah. When you listen to it, you're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> There's one laugh for the saints, you know, and one laugh for the non-saints. <laughs> Both are nons nonsense. <laughs> so which one you like to listen? Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English and Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, with subtitles in Arabic. Olasis, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Mes salutations bienveillantes, téléspectateurs affables. Je m'appelle Rufaï et je viens de Niki, du Bénin captivant. Le Bénin, anciennement appelé le Dahomey, est un pays d'Afrique occidentale. Il a une histoire riche et complexe avec divers atouts culturels précieux, beaucoup de vitalité et de caractéristiques variées. Les palais royaux d'Abomé sont un des sites du Bénin inscrit au patrimoine mondial de l'Organisation des Nations Unies pour l'éducation, la science et la culture d'UNESCO. Nous pouvons en apprécier la majestueuse architecture et le design ingénieux, témoin de l'histoire du Bénin et du style de ses anciennes dynasties. Le Bénin habite aussi des plages magnifiques, des parcs nationaux verdoyants, des paysages impressionnants et une faune et flore extraordinaire que les Béninois protègent consciencieusement. En 1995, le maire suprême Sikhaï a été invité au Bénin par son Altesse royale, le prince du Bénin, qui a accueilli le maître immédiatement à son arrivée. Tandis que le peuple béninois, vêtu de tenues traditionnelles, chantait, dansait et jouait de la musique pour elle dans les rues de Cotonou. Pendant le séjour du maître, son Altesse royale, le prince, a invité un groupe de musique à jouer devant la chambre d'hôtel du maître en guise de salutation matinale. Sa Majesté le Roi Agoli Ago, Dégalang, du Bénin, a aussi invité le maître dans son palais où il a accueilli avec une grande réception impériale. Nous sommes bénis de vous présenter brièvement la beauté naturelle du Bénin. Nous prions le ciel de remplir vos jours de rire, 
d'amour et de bénédiction. Depuis plus de trois décennies, le Maître suprême Sihai éclaire notre monde de ses enseignements divins. Maître est totalement éliminé. Elle enseigne la méthode de méditation Guanyin à ceux qui désirent découvrir immédiatement la nature de Dieu intérieur et parvenir en cette vie à la libération éternelle du cycle de la réincarnation. La méthode Guanyi a été pratiquée par tous les maîtres éliminés, tels que le Bouddha, Jésus-Christ, le prophète Mohammed, que la paix soit avec lui, Guru Nanak et de nombreux autres. Elle souligne que si nous nous souvenons toujours de Dieu, rendons service aux autres de façon désintéressée et suivons les lois de l'univers, nous atteindrons notre potentiel le plus élevé en tant qu'être humain et comprenons vraiment notre mission sur Terre. Le Maître suprême Sihai est un extraordinaire exemple vivant de compassion, envoyant régulièrement une aide matérielle et financière, ainsi que de l'amour aux refusés, aux sans-abri, aux victimes de catastrophes naturelles et à d'autres nécessitant des secours. En 2006, elle a reçu le prix Goussy de la paix, considéré comme le prix Nobel de la paix en Asie, et a été honorée au fil des ans de nombreux autres prix et reconnaissances pour ses actions philanthropiques et humanitaire exceptionnelle. Véritable voix pour nos magnifiques amis les animaux. Elle promeut l'alimentation végane, pacifique et aimante et rêve qu'une fois que l'humanité réalisera le caractère sacré de toute vie, nous aurons un monde totalement végan, paisible et glorieux où les animaux et les humains vivront en parfaite harmonie. Ces initiatives pour diffuser la tendance végane sont multiples. Elles ont inclus la distribution du dépliant le mode de vie alternatif, Love in Hot, la chaîne internationale de restaurants végans, Supreme Master Television, ainsi que des conférences régulières avec des dirigeants du gouvernement et des médias. Et sa participation à des conférences télévisées sur le changement climatique, que nous le sachions ou non. Ces efforts ont eu une énorme influence en sensibilisant de par le monde au mode de vie qui respecte les animaux et au fait que cette façon d'être bienveillance fait apporter une paix durable entre les pays, tout en sauvant notre planète du changement climatique. Pendant des années, le Maître suprême Sihai a voyagé dans le monde entier, des Amériques en Afrique, de l'Europe à l'Océanie, et elle a donné des centaines de conférences en public ou à ses disciples sur divers sujets spirituels. Aujourd'hui, nous sommes bénis de vous présenter une de ces conférences instructives intitulée « Histoire drôle, non sainte, première partie d'un programme en trois épisodes dans « Entre maîtres et disciples » donné en anglais et en holacien aussi appelé vietnamien, le 12 mars 1994, en Californie, aux États-Unis. Bonne 
Yeah, you don't want to go shrinking. Yeah, yeah. Huh? How come our place is shrinking all the time? Every time I come, it's smaller and smaller. Mấy người mới chuyện tao mắng đâu? Sao có khai ngộ rồi gì chưa? <cười> Chắc có rồi hả? Hậu quang nó chĩa chĩa lên đó. <cười> Hậu quang chĩa chĩa là. <laughs> Everybody all right? Yes. Very warm indeed, huh? Yeah. Sao cái chỗ này ông làm cái cái ấy lên? Cái sắn này trời rất là gió xuống. Rất gió hả? Yeah. <laughs> Nhà gì đâu mà mà ấm áp quá vậy? Chút gió thì cũng sợ hả? À. How's everybody? All right. I mean, did I ask already in English? Yeah, I did, huh? I guess I did, huh? Ah, how come? How come everybody looks so good? <laughs> Except me. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Every time you say the same, sing the same song. <laughs> Nothing new. Huh? Same tune all the time. You look beautiful. <laughs> huh? I heard it all the time and I begin to believe it. <laughs> That's the trouble. Huh? It's the truth. It's the tooth and nothing but the tooth, right? <laughs> There's no false tooth inside. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, have uh, you anything uh, special to tell me? Any special question? Huh? Except those new initiates with their Light is beaming to the sky, you know. <laughs> no complain, huh? No, good, good, good. Oh, that's the best thing you can hear. <laughs> now, we have two books here. <laughs> Supposed to be forbidden for laughing. Yeah. When you listen to it, you're not supposed to laugh. <laughs> There's one laugh for the saints, you know, and one laugh for the nonsense <laughs> both are nons nonsense <laughs> so which one you like to listen huh both who's both <laughs> that mean you are nonsense right <laughs> nonsense <laughs> nonsense and a saint huh? right now um you know mostly we uh, always talk about English jokes, yeah? So today we're going to have Vietnamese jokes, you know, like last time. But do you have translation? Yes. Do you have your heavenly ears ready? Because yes. uh, how many... <laughs> how many don't speak Vietnamese? Những người nằm không biết nói tiếng Anh. Who cannot speak English? Oh, no, English. Uh, raise your hands, please. <laughs> no English, raise hands. Oh, minor, minority. Uh. Okay. Uh. Come. All right. Then you listen to the translation, right? So, uh, do I speak English or Vietnamese better? English. Huh? English. Ah, English is not so funny, you know. <laughs> Last time I spoke Vietnamese, everybody laughed until their head turned around. <laughs> English is difficult and also difficult to translate. How many English people here? I mean, English uh, native speaking, like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven or so. Oh, eight. That's even <laughs> uh, the least one here, huh? But I don't know why I always speak English when I see one or two blue eyes or, you know. <laughs> Brown hair. You from Costa Rica? I came from Korea. Korea? Oh, yeah? She looks like one in Costa Rica, huh? <laughs> you know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, we have one Chinese uh, in Costa Rica, look like you, huh? Anybody knows? Yeah, you remember? One of you remember the Costa Rica? Yes, 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 right? Yeah, look very much like her, huh? Yeah. What do you come from Korea for? 
How do you know when I'll see you? You want to see me? How do you know I'm here? It's supposed to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Only that much people know. <laughs> we didn't advertise anything, right? Uh, are you warm, everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. And the foreigners, are your knees all right? <laughs> your bottoms okay? <laughs> <laughs> really, we have some uh, kind of a staircase, you know, a little bit elevated levels behind there. If you don't feel comfortable, you can sit behind there. Huh? All right? The long legs one. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, there was some some jokes here. <laughs> Some jokes here, okay? I hope you understand. If you don't, I switch into Vietnamese in no time. No. Mm, oh. Okay. Uh, there's a person named Georges. I apologize if any of you have the same name. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fiction in Vietnam, so it couldn't be you, right? <laughs> Vietnamese named Georges, can you believe it? George. George uh, is a very, uh, you know, you know how how you call the people who who often goes to the um, the you know the 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 horse uh, racing game and uh, bet on it. Gambler. Okay, he's a horse gambler. That he <laughs> 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 he divided horses into different section. Okay, now now. Uh, besides this uh, gambling uh, passion, he he's also very um, compassionate toward a beautiful woman. You understand what it means? <laughs> Not only he loves his wife, but he loves all the beautiful women that he sees. <laughs> so he has a great compassion, you know, he's a great compassionate man. Cái bằng đàn ông ăn ở có nhân, vừa thương hết đi thương người ngoài đó. Biết chưa, biết chưa, hiểu chưa? So because of this uh, great love, you know, <laughs> for all womankind, you know, he <laughs> he always have a trouble with his wife. Uh, but and uh, never mind, he managed to you know keep his head above the water from both, you know, from gambling and from the wife, uh, uh, how say typhoon sometimes. One day, you know, he came home from work and he was very tired, you know, came home late from work. It's, it's a late night, he supposed to work late, you know. You know how it's like when people work all the time? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> came back home very late and he slept right away. And meanwhile, you know, because he's so tired or too compassion, or passionate or compassionate, I don't know, he just keep uh, dreaming, you know. And in his dream, he keep talking about a name, you know, like, uh, golden Phoenix, Golden Phoenix, oh, Golden Phoenix. Yeah. It's a Vietnamese name, you know, Kim Phong. Huh? <laughs> and then his wife, you know, just, uh, you know, shook him up and said, What are you talking about? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, you know, blip, 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 girl, you know? <laughs> BLD, girl, you know. So I said, What was what, what he talking about? Who's girl? What girl? He said, You just, you just dream and, 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 and call her name. You know, who's that golden phoenix? Just tell me. And then the, the, the compassionate man just said, no, it, it's, it's, you know, it's the name of a horse that uh, I intend to bet next week, you know. <laughs> Perhaps, you know, because of thinking so much, I just spoke it out loud. So uh, the wife, you know, feel peaceful and went back to sleep. Next day, he came back home from work, you know, early, not so late, and then his wife just jumped to the door and tell him, hey, I tell you what, your, your phoenix horse just phoned you. <laughs> and, he, and she said that uh, she uh, <laughs> will meet you uh, Saturday in the Rex Theater for dancing. Can you hear You understood? Yeah? All right. Right. This is a little bit mundane, right? <laughs> but don't do that kind of dream at home, okay? If you have to dream, you just call something like golden chips, <laughs> huh? fried potatoes, and then nobody will think anything about it. <laughs> but if you say honey pie or apple pie, people still think <laughs> it may be something else, you know. <clears throat> 
nobody call his uh, lover fried potatoes or something? <laughs> no, not yet, huh? <laughs> this is not a very funny one, but perhaps some of you like to laugh. Like, uh, idiot, you know, took uh, <laughs> took uh, uh, a mad dog, go to uh, a restaurant and uh, celebrate. And, and then t- um, he said, you know, the idiot said to mad dog that, you know, you have to celebrate with me and drink a few cups of wine because my wife just, uh, Jose, had a baby, okay? And then the, the, the mad dog asked the idiot, Oh, is that a boy? You know? And the idiot said, No, no, no. And then the, the mad dog said, Then it's a girl. And then the idiot, <laughs> the idiot said, Oh, how do you know? I give you three more glasses of wine. <laughs> you, you really guessed correctly. <laughs> It's really a mad dog. (laughs) 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 You say, all it tries and you guess correctly, you know. (laughs) So intelligent. (laughs) Oh, Jenny, okay, don't be too exaggerated. (laughs) She she laughs until tomorrow if if I don't stop. (laughs) She laughs at anything. Now I have to speak it in Vietnamese, yeah. And then maybe I translate it into English. So put your ears on. <laughs> mm. Cái này cái chuyện của bà Nam Trọc. <cười> cái bà Nam Trọc á, bà nổi tiếng là là cây cú ở chợ Bến Thành á. À, không phải chợ Cộng Lạnh á. Một hôm bà lâm bệnh nặng thình lình à, bà sắp chết rồi, thấy không? À, lương y đều lắc đầu hết. À. Rồi cái bà mới kêu năm chục con nợ, tức là những người thiếu nợ của bà đó, kêu tới bên giường bệnh của bà. Đó. Rồi cái đem hết mấy cái giấy tờ của mấy năm chục con nợ đó, đem nó đốt hết trước mặt mấy người đó. Chà! Chứ một người mà mắc nợ bà đó, thiệt thà quá mới hỏi. Dạ thưa má <cười> Dạ thưa má Chúng con chưa có trả nợ được Sao mà lại đổ khịt dễ nợ đi nè <cười> yeah, Bà Nam Trọc đang nằm liệt trên giường Bỗng tính phát dậy Mở mặt trao trao trần trần lên Nhìn người đó một lần cuối cùng trong đời Rồi nói rằng Nếu mà tao không đốt đi á thì chừng xuống âm ti giấy đâu tao đòi nợ tụi bay. <cười> Got it? Yeah. <cười> you got a translation, okay? No. <cười> uh, it's so easy, you know. You know there's a person who's, who was very very, you know, kind of a very terrible person. She used to lend money to everybody kind, you know, but she, she count every penny, you know. And then uh, one day she was sick and all the doctors already shake their bottoms, you know, shake their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Say nothing we could do about it, you know. So, so she knows her time's up, so she called about 50 of her uh, debt, debtors come next to her deathbed and then told her people, you know, a servant, bring all the, the how to say, the, the paper, huh? The IOU paper in front of them and burn them all in front of them. Yeah. And then the, the one of the debtor, you know, was feeling very uh, kind of uh, emotional, you know, and he said, oh, madame. We have not paid you yet. How come you burn all the papers? You know, I owe you paper. 
and the madame nearly die you know she suddenly woke up and looked into them into the eyes and said if i didn't burn all this and when i go down there how can i have any proof <laughs> to get <laughs> get money back from you from all of you <laughs> But you have to understand because this is a, a kind of a oriental joke, you know. And in the Orient, people believed that after death, you know, they still continue to live under the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they call it underground world. This mean after, you know, just like you say underworld, something like that. I mean, after they continue to live, and other people will come down, you know. So she has to secure all the proof <laughs> so that she wait for them <laughs> come down and get the money back guarantee. <laughs> uh, you understand, huh? Okay, so sometimes the joke has, has a background, you know, otherwise uh, we don't know why, what is the funny about it, you know? Because uh, according to the, the Western, uh, how to say, uh, theology is that after you die, you, know, you have to lay there forever and wait for the final judgment or something like that, or you finish. <laughs> ah, oh, this is also a very nice joke. <sighs> okay, I speak English, all right? You understand everything when I speak English, all of you? How many people understand? Raise your hand, let me know. Vietnam is more fun. And all our friends. <laughs> okay, then I speak both. All right. It takes too long. It takes too long, you know. Okay. Then you have less jokes. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Quality uh, above quantity, yeah? Okay. There's a wall that separates heaven and earth. Yeah? Just like before we had the Berlin Wall, huh? Now suddenly, <laughs> one day, uh, I don't know who, who, who tried to escape from heaven or <laughs> to go down to hell, have a look or what. Because hell is more fun, people say so. Most of fun people go down there. <laughs> uh, heaven is only for people, vegetarian, uh, no sex, uh, no <laughs> second wife, uh, no uh, gambling, uh, no uh, drinking, uh, nothing. You know, <laughs> Some people escape from heaven, go to hell and have a look. Mm. Perhaps this is a very strong gang, so they broke the wall, you know. It was a breaking, you know. And then... T- uh, those uh, demons, you know, devils from hell, asked the heavenly uh, uh, how's it, angels to, uh, they sue them, you know, sue them, get them to get the money uh, for, for breaking the, uh, the wall, you know. Actually, there was no proof that the heavenly people broke it, or the world people broke it, or the hell people broke it. Anyhow, but the hell uh, must always do something because uh, <laughs> that is their quality. <laughs> They're always active and busy. And they can do everything out from nothing, right? So they sue the heavenly beings and ask them that they should, uh, uh, how to say, pay, pay the money, right? To t- repair the wall. Of course, the heavenly people don't want to pay, right? So why? You know, we have no proof. Well, we didn't do nothing. <laughs> Besides, the war is between both of us. Even if we pay, you know, if we half and half, well, why us, you know? <laughs> yeah, very intelligent, huh? people in heaven. <laughs> so now, uh, next day in heaven, the, the heavenly people receive a fax from, from hell. <laughs> Very urgent, you know, say, you don't need to argue with us anymore. We already um, discussed with all of our lawyers here that you have to pay. <laughs> our lawyer have decided that all of you have to pay, yeah? All right. Uh, tomorrow is the last day that you have to answer us, all right? Uh, of course, next tomorrow, you know, next day, the heaven people sent a more urgent fax <laughs> to, <laughs> to hell, you know, <laughs> and saying, oh, okay, sorry, we know that's not our fault, 
but since but we pay anyhow because since we couldn't find any lawyers in our heaven <laughs> Sorry if uh, if he you know the the author of the book of any lawyers is not my book okay I just <laughs> just happened to translate it all right tức là cái bức tường mà ngăn cách thiên đường và địa ngục đó nó bị bể ra có lần bị bể ra cái rồi mấy ông quỷ dưới địa ngục á kiện mấy ông ở trên trên trời á phải đền tiền đặng mà sửa lại cái bức tường tại vì ông sợ là bức tường mà bể thì mấy người thiên đàng trốn xuống địa ngục hết cái bằng nhập nhập cảnh bất hợp pháp uh, illegal immigration right <cười> thành ra thành ra à, kiểu mấy người trên thiên đàng đền tiền đặng mà 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 đắp cái tường lại mấy người thiên đàng nhất định không chịu trả cái rồi mấy người quỷ ở địa ngục á mới uh, gửi một cái cái fax lên đó uh, điện tính á lên đó nói ngày mai mà không trả là chúng tôi phải sẽ có biện pháp bởi vì mấy ông luật sư dưới này chúng tôi tham khảo tất cả những luật sư dưới này là nói là mấy người phải đền tiền ừ. à, luật sư địa ngục nói là thiên đàng phải đền tiền rồi ngày mai cái mấy ông thiên đàng cũng gửi cái điện tính xuống nói thôi được rồi cái lỗi cái này lỗi không phải của chúng tôi nhưng mà thôi để tôi chúng tôi đền tại vì ở trên thiên đàng chúng tôi kiếm không có ra một ông luật sư nào hết <cười> hiểu chưa đừng có nói với mấy ông luật sư ở ngoài á nói là cái ổng đi ông chửi ông tú xe chết <cười> tú xe là tác giả của chuyện này ơi <cười> mệt quá còn nhiều nữa nhưng mà sư phụ cũng quên <cười> à, cái chuyện này vui lắm chuyện này vui lắm à chuyện này vui lắm <cười> hai ba chuyện chuyện nào cũng vui ừ. có một bữa đó tư ngốc đến nhà tám tàng chơi ha <cười> nhưng mà quên coi ngày lành tháng tốt thành ra đến nơi vừa lúc chén dĩa trong nhà bay lung tung <cười> đang chén dĩa nhà tám tàng bay lung tung biết không ừ. tư ngốc tại lỡ bước rồi thành phải vô à vô rồi cái hỏi qua la rồi vừa hỏi vừa vừa, vừa tránh đó. rồi cái chạy mất à rồi rút lui rồi nhưng mà sáng hôm sau á anh chàng này anh gặp tấm đàn lại nữa anh cười cười nói sao hôm qua hôm qua cái cuộc mà dĩa bay chén bay đó đã em thấm chưa tỉnh hồn chưa à kì anh chàng tấm đàn mới nói làm cái gì mà tỉnh hồn tao mà cái gì mày không biết đấy hôm qua lúc mày về rồi á tao cho nó bò càng bò lê ở dưới đất mày nghe chưa <cười> cái à, từ 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 ngố từ, từ ngốc mới nói thôi lại da cho đừng có dốc tổ <cười> tâm tàn nói ai mà dốc với mày làm cái gì lúc mày ra về rồi á nó cầm cái cây chổi lóng gà nó bò lết xuống gầm giường và nó hết ẩm lên mà anh có chịu ra chưa anh bò ra chưa anh bò ra cho tôi coi chưa <cười> hiểu chưa hiểu không hiểu gì không <laughs> you know what? In order for me to speak English all the time, you, the American citizen, have must outweigh all this flat nose and black hat. <laughs> Then I will have no excuse. All right? Eat more. Huh? Yes, you have. No, you have to recruit more members. <laughs> Way more? Yes. I'll wait, but the, the, how can you outweigh? One person cannot outweigh too many. Even if you eat more. <laughs> You're not so heavyweight, John. <laughs> okay. À, bây giờ, bây giờ cái này hay lắm, cái này. Người nào mà thấy sư phụ thường thường đi diễn thuyết mà quay quá đó hả? <laughs> Có người ta thì ở dưới hỏi tả gì rồi, hỏi rồi đáp lung tung beng này kia cái nọ. Cái bộ quay lắm mà muốn diễn thuyết đó thì... Cái bài này hay lắm Bài này là thuộc về loại cố vấn không mất tiền á ừ. Có anh kia đó, Anh Tấm Tạng Anh thấy người ta đăng đàn diễn thuyết lung tung Nên cũng muốn đăng đàn diễn thuyết chơi à Khi có một bữa đó Anh, anh dám cái chương rồi tùm lum Đăng báo rồi tùm lum Có một trăm người đến dự ừ. Anh ngồi hết xong rồi Cái Tấm Tạng bước lên Tươi cười và hỏi Kính thưa quý vị 
đã có con đến đây dự thính chắc quý vị biết rõ hôm nay chúng tôi định nói về vấn đề gì à. Ở trong phòng mọi người cũng nhau 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 rồi nó không không ai biết đâu à tấm tàng mới đúng định chứng chặt trình răng trả lời là nếu quý vị chưa biết thì hẹn quý vị tối mai đến nơi này chúng tôi sẽ nói cho quý vị biết rồi chưa chưa tối hôm sau à cũng lại nữa cười duyên móm mém à, tâm tạng mới hỏi kính thưa quý vị đã có công đến đây dự thính chắc quý vị đã biết rõ hôm nay chúng tôi định nói về vấn đề gì rồi à, trong phòng cũng nhau nhau nữa nói có người nó có biết rồi <cười> à, cái tâm tạng cái cười mém chi cọp nói à, biết rồi thì còn đến đây nghe để làm gì thì bữa nay khỏi nói <cười> Thôi xin hẹn quý vị ngày mai <cười> Rồi chưa Chưa <cười> Chưa Đừng có vỗ tay sớm quá Hố <cười> Tối hôm sau Cũng diễn y cái màn Bụng ngủ soạn lại như vậy Tám tàn cũng hỏi như hai đêm trước nữa <cười> Tức tức quá <cười> Thánh giả trong phòng mới chia làm hai phe <cười> Một bên thì nói không biết, một bên thì nói biết rồi <cười> Thấy chưa? À. À, tám đàn nghe phất tịnh mới nói Vậy thì xin quý vị nào mà biết thì thuộc lại cho quý vị chưa biết nghe <cười> Get it? I mean the English <cười> Sava sava, công si công sa à. <laughs> you got it? Really? No? Oh, don't be so spoiled. <laughs> don't be such a spoiled. Huh? Children. Uh, it's, it's, it's not very funny. I don't think you like it. Uh. <laughs> huh? Did you get it, John? Did you hear it? No? Really? No? Then what did you have the ears for? <laughs> okay, there's a man. Now I switch into English. All right, one English, one Vietnamese, maybe like that. So you listen to come see, come sa, come blah, come play. Ah, come play and no come prang. Francis, English, French. No, how, what are you? American, really? You look like French. Yeah. You don't look too beefy, you know what I mean? <laughs> you look very much like a French. Uh... <laughs> okay, there's a man. Now listen to English, all right? And the person who knows, <laughs> tell the person who don't know. <laughs> no, okay, I, I translate the last one. You see, there was a man who... <clears throat> Because he he saw that Master Ching Hai is always went around and you know <laughs> lecture, so he wants also to lecture. <laughs> or maybe one of our disciple who knows. And then so the first day he came uh, to the podium and about a hundred person gathering there, and he say, "Well, since you have waste your time to come here, do you know the subject that we are going to talk about?" And the audience say, "No, we don't know." <laughs> and he said, "Well, since you don't know, okay, tomorrow you come, I tell you." All right. <laughs> and so tomorrow everybody comes and he asks the same question again. And some people, you know, some people are so angry and say, okay, we know. <laughs> and then so he said, well, if you already know, no good to stay here. So see you tomorrow. <laughs> On Thursday he came back again and a few people are gathering again and he asked the same question, the same thing. And so the audience got mad, you know, half. They are divided into two sections. One say no, and the, uh, the, the other section say don't know. I don't know what he's, he's going to talk about. So I said, all right, in that case, then the one who know, tell the one who don't know. <laughs> that's what it was, okay? So that's why I, when I say that, they are laughing. <coughs> Now there's a man. There's a man who... Uh, went out and drunk a few bottles too many, right? 
So he was a little bit, uh, you know, too slow to walk, you know, and then he jig jacked when we say his way home. And, and he, <laughs> he tried, uh, <laughs> he tried to, to, to open the door, but he couldn't, you know, so he, so he had to uh, knock at the door. And as soon as his wife came out with a stick, you know, <laughs> he began to uh, shake it, baby, you know. <laughs> and his wife lectured him, said, I told you many times, didn't I? Huh? huh? I never come home so late. Huh? Where do you go? Where do you do? What do you do? Where are you? Who are you with? Blah, 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 blah. Huh? And then, <laughs> you know what time is it now? Uh, so the husband is uh, just smiling, you know. <laughs> it's uh, one o'clock. <laughs> okay. So the wife says, huh? And then says, what are you, uh, I mean, you, you think you can fool me? And then suddenly the, the clock on the wall, you know, say, it just uh, bong three times. <laughs> Bong, 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 you know, yeah? And then, you know, the, the man just, <laughs> you know, laughing and just say, Oh, you lousy. <laughs> it's one o'clock, you strike once and I know why you have to do it three times. <laughs> yeah. Why why had to repeat it three times? Nghe đó nghe đó. Thì cái anh tâm tàng anh say rượu anh về nhà anh gõ cửa đó rung quá trời bà vợ ra cái sách chủ lông gà là điểm mặt tôi nói cho anh biết hả? Tôi nói cho anh hay hồi đó giờ biểu anh về nhà sớm. Tại sao bây giờ mới về anh biết mấy giờ không? Anh tâm tàng cười cười hề thì thôi một giờ một giờ. Vừa nói xong cái đồng hồ nó điểm ba tiếng. Khoảng thời điểm ba tiếng cái chàng anh chửi đồng hồ nó làm như người ta không biết à. <cười> điểm một lần đủ rồi cái gì mà cứ lặp lại hoài <cười> get it uh, okay there's a um, a general you know army general <coughs> telephone to another kind of unit his unit in another place and say hello uh, Uh, you know, he wants to speak to somebody. And then there is a, a soldier, you know, plain like sergeant or something, soldier, in the other end of the line. He doesn't recognize the voice of the, the high general, commander-in-chief. So he say, ah, hello, uh, you okay? <laughs> buddy, buddy, you all right? <laughs> uh, what's up, dog? <laughs> <coughs> Uh, uh, we go out and drink again sometimes, all right? Uh, so, and then the general, you know, shout on top of his voice, You know who you're talking with? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, suddenly, you know, it's quiet for a long time in the other line, in the other end of the line. And then we say, And then he asked, who is it? <laughs> Who's speaking? <laughs> And then the general said, I'm the general commander-in-chief of your unit. And this longer pause, you know. <laughs> Greater silence. And then the other end said, do you recognize who is speaking to you also? And the general said, no. <laughs> who are you? And the soldier said, oh, this is very lucky, goodbye. <laughs> All right, that's it, huh? Mấy người Việt Nam hiểu không? Yeah. Hiểu thiệt không? Yeah. Còn mấy người nào không hiểu có người nào dịch cho nghe không? Không. Không. <cười> à, thế
Thế thôi sư phụ nói ngắn nha Hư quá hư quá Con hư tại mẹ Thì có ông Thống tướng tổng tư lệnh gọi dây nói cho Cái đơn vị của ông á Thì có một anh Anh chàng nào đó bốc đại lên rồi nói À bồ đó anh giấu anh bồ rồi mấy đi nhậu nữa nha này kia cái nọ hả Con đại tao không hét lên nói Đồ ngốc Cảm miệng có biết nói chuyện với ai không Cái im lặng lâu quá trời cái hồi Ai vậy <cười> Cái ông đại tá Cái ông thống tướng Tôi ta là thống tướng tổng tư lệnh gì đó gì đó Mổ mồi đó ghê lắm hả Cái anh chàng kia im lặng dài nữa Im lặng dài thòn nữa Rồi cuối cùng nói Dạ mà thưa thống tướng Có biết ai đừng nói chuyện với thống tướng đây không Cái thống tướng nói không Ồ vậy thì may quá chầu <cười> Rồi cúp luôn <cười> Chúng tôi đứng đó là chết <cười> Lát lột luôn hết Đuổi về đuổi gà cho vợ ừ. Téléspectateurs amicaux, merci de nous avoir rejoints pour l'émission d'aujourd'hui intitulée « Histoire drôle non sainte », première partie d'un programme en trois épisodes, dans « Entre maître et disciple ». Et restez avec nous sur Supreme Master Television pour plus de programmes positifs. Retrouvez ensuite le jeûne au jus pour la paix. Une vidéoconférence avec le maître suprême Sihai. Troisième partie d'une série de quatre épisodes. Dans Paroles de sagesse juste après les nouvelles déceptions. Que votre âme soit émergée dans la mer des bénédictions célestes. May your soul be a mercy in the sea of heavenly blessings. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com/pmd.